or standing on the lakes of oh, they're gonna say the standing next to a grizzly nope. that would be bad be <laughs> careful be very careful all right saddle up for some old timey fun solder bill says it's ready for springtime libations that's where we find ethan watts this morning again ethan what you sipping on oh are we on yeah okay. we're gonna <laughs> get my tab going <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're at the Broken Barrel. We've, we've transcended, we're in the 1920s now, so if you know anything about American history in the 1920s, places like this were everywhere, even when they shouldn't be. So we have our good friend Jeanette again. Jeanette, we're at the Broken Barrel. We gotta be a little quiet. What is this place? This is our Prohibition speakeasy here at Souter Village called the Broken Barrel. And we are talking softly. Do you know why they called them speakeasies? Why did they call them speakeasies? Because they needed to talk softly so that the cops couldn't hear them when they were in the bar. And that wasn't a joke. That's a real thing, speakeasy. <laughs> You're not joking, <laughs> okay? So, so this, you guys, kind of uh, renovated. You have uh, basically a strip, a whole road dedicated to the 1920s here. But this place specifically, you guys hold uh, kind of speakeasy events and prohibition experiences here? Correct. We do offer, um, we want to tell the history of prohibition here at Souter Village. We're all about history. And so we have a beautiful bar um, to showcase and we do a prohibition experiences. So guests can take um, about an hour and a half program. Um, they pre-register for it. We have 12 exclusive people here in the room. Um, so you can come with friends or family. And um, we do bourbon tastings and we talk about speakeasies and prohibition and the history of that time period, the gangs and everything that happened during Prohibition. Absolutely, and so the bourbons, they go from uh, 1870 to 1924, different bourbons you get a flight, but you guys go all out with this. So like we said, we have a whole road of things, everything from a barber shop, a candy shop, uh, a movie theater, a hardware store, and this speakeasy is hidden uh, in one of the buildings, yeah? Correct, it's a hidden building. Um, you have to have the secret passcode to get in. And so we're offered, offering special experiences where people can do the full experience. Very cool. And then we also decided to open it up for special after hours events. And so um, this Saturday, we're having a night at the Speakeasy. Um, we opened up to our 1920s theater. So we'll have live musical entertainment on stage. Awesome. And then you can come in and get Prohibition cocktails. We have um, Wiedemann's and Michelob on tap and special wines and so it's a fun tonight just to invite um, friends and family yeah, to come totally. out 21 and over um, and we do have um, special cocktails that night that you can sample and get a tasting if you can't come to the bourbon experiences very cool and so you guys are going to try to use this room a little bit more towards the summertime this speakeasy experience is going to start picking up that's right the prohibition experiences will be offered on fridays and saturdays we'll have dates on our website very soon cool. And we'll be doing more night at the speakeasies. Um, we're starting it on Saturday, but we'll be doing it on Thursdays after that. Very cool. Well, thank you, Ms. Smith. Guys, uh, a lot of history here, but also a lot of this stuff, too, uh, coming up this summer. Going to be a lot of fun. So uh, keep it on the DL. Keep it on the DL. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, thanks, thanks Ethan. Yeah, thanks, Ethan. Appreciate it. a lot of prohibition. We, we, Sasha thought you were going to be drinking water if you were experiencing yeah. prohibition. So we, we weren't sure what that experiment was. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, we have a lot to talk.